Our headline today, the Terran Republic Coalition Forces launch a massive anti-terrorist operation on Endar, striking against joint rebel operators and foiling an attempt at bioterrorism on a continental scale. During the early morning hours of Monday, the 4th of May, elements of both the new conglomerate and the Vanu sovereignty initiated a collaborative terrorist attack, seizing Terran Republic biolabs in the Indar region. Scientists working in the captured facilities managed to send out distress signals and reports of rebels shipping in containers of unknown biotoxins before their transmissions were interrupted. While the exact nature of these biotoxins have not been released, the Terran Republic newscast nanite biology experts are speculating that the terrorists' objective may have been anything from contaminating the entire Indar region food supply to corrupting the region's atmosphere as a form of a desperate scorched earth tactic. Upon receiving these distress signals, the Terran Republic High Council gathered a coalition of Terran Republic forces from numerous different outfits in order to retake these biolab facilities and secure their surrounding areas so that samples of the biotoxins could be gathered for analysis. As the situation on the ground was developing, the coalition found itself with three key objectives. One driving out rebels in the Saurava biolab and securing the facility. 2. Driving out the rebels in the Alatum biolab and securing the facility. 3. Extending a controlled safe zone around each facility and disallowing enemy reinforcements from moving into the area. The third biolab on Indar, the Rushnu biolab, was deemed a non-critical objective, as reports indicated that the two rebel factions had succumbed to infighting in the area, and that Terran Republic scientists and security personnel had managed to fortify themselves in secure areas within the biolab, and believed that the rebels would be unable to put their plans into effect any time soon. As the coalition forces mounted up for the operation, our on-scene reporter, currently attached to the 208th Strike Regiment, was able to follow a mobile infantry section into action. What you are about to see is actual combat footage from the ground units serving on Endar. While the western segment of the operation faced only minimal resistance on their transit to the Saurava biolab, the rebels in the Alatum region managed to put up more of a fight. The Alatum offensive began with units converging on the biolab facility, making a swift airborne insertion, and rapidly proceeding with swift capture of the base and liberation of captured civilian scientists on the site. With the rebels thoroughly crushed inside the facility, a number of units set to the task of chemical disposal and rounding up the numerous prisoners of war captured during the operation. Parting ways with the bulk of the operation, the 208th Strike Regiment then moved south into the Paris region, pushing northeast in order to engage the disorganized rebel supply columns desperately looking to reinforce the scattered pockets of resistance in the eastern Alatum region. This flanking maneuver caught the rebels by complete surprise. Hundreds of new conglomerate rebels surrendered within minutes.
As the rebel convoys burn out on the roadsides, the chemical containment units in the biolabs report having successfully extracted the hazardous materials, which were promptly transported out of the biolabs for proper evaluation and disposal. With the threat neutralized, the anti-terrorist operation was brought to a close. Reports indicate that the Republic forces suffered only a handful of injuries and two casualties as a forward scouting vehicle was caught in an explosion of an improvised explosive device. Terran Republic High Command was able to confirm at least a hundred rebels killed, as well as over three hundred captured during the course of the operation, which was widely described as an astounding success for the Republic. Tune in next time for more up-to-date news of the Araxis conflict.